If you ever get stuck in a rip current, following your gut instinct could be a deadly decision. So what should you do? We have the facts. Rip currents are powerful, narrow channels of water that can flow away from the shore at speeds of up to eight feet per second. That's faster than an Olympic swimmer. In the U.S., rip currents occur along the nation's sea coasts and the shores of the Great Lakes. They are most common in gaps between sandbars, piers, and parts of the reef where channels of water flow at a faster pace than the surrounding area. Choppy or discolored water can indicate a rip current. But don't be deceived. Sometimes there's no wave activity at all. The U.S. Life Saving Association estimates more than 100 people are killed by rip currents every year in the United States. They are the number one concern for beach lifeguards, with 80% of all rescues related to rip currents. Drowning deaths occur because of the exhaustion, panic, and fear caused by fighting against the strength of the current. So if you ever get caught in a rip current, do not panic. There is a way out. Here's how. Remain calm and swim parallel to the shoreline, which is perpendicular to the current. Or just go with the flow and ride it out, saving your energy for the swim back to shore. Don't become a victim by trying to save someone. If you see someone caught in a rip current, get help from a lifeguard if available. If a lifeguard is not present, yell instructions on how to escape and throw something that floats. Call 911 for further assistance. And remember, before you even get into the water, look out for these colored warning flags. Green flags mean low danger, while yellow means swimmers should exercise extreme caution. Red flags mean the possibility of life-threatening conditions, and double red flags mean swimming is off limits. Overall, when traveling to the beach, make sure to check the weather and surf forecast so you don't find yourself trapped in a rip current.